Here is how you can add audio or video to your tests to insert them actually into the questions. Let's say that you have a YouTube video that you want the students to watch and then respond to. So let's create, uh, I'm going to make this true false, but this would work for any of them. We create it. Now notice here where it says insert content. Click there, go to YouTube. Then it's going to ask you to search for the video. So let's say that I'm looking for the knights who say knee. Click that in the search bar and it brings up a number of things. So here is one that I want. Click that. I'm going to import as embed. Now, it's got this placeholder down here. That's where the video is going to show. But you can then, up here, you can type a question. Uh, for example, we could say, should you use this for classroom management? And then you could say true, false, select which the correct answer is, go on down and create the question. Okay. Now, if you go to Preview, you'll see what that looks like. Preview, Start New Attempt, okay, and this is what students would see. Then they can click on this video. Who are you? We are the knights who say... No. So they can watch that and then they answer it. Okay, so that's how you can insert a YouTube video. Let's say that you want to make audio or video, either one would work, and have the students respond to it. This might be especially helpful in a foreign language class. So we're going to add a question here. Let's make this one multiple choice. Now this time I'm going to make an audio. I'm going to click on this little microphone down here. and. I'm just going to make audio. So we'll do that. It brings up a screen that looks like this. And then it will say press the rec button to start. So let's try this. Como te llamas? Como te llamas? Click the stop button. Click. If you want to see what it sounds like, you can play. Como te llamas? Como te llamas? And if you're satisfied with it, click insert. Now it's going to show this down here. Again, you can go up here, you can ask a question. Please respond. And so you could say, me llamo Rod. We'll say that's the correct answer. You can say, go away. We can say, uh, you know, whatever else. You can make other choices. Uh, choice three, choice four. Okay, I like to randomize the choices. Uh, so then we'll create the question. So now if you want to see what it's like, you can go to the preview. Start new attempt. And so there's the first question that we had. Here's the second question. Please respond. So the students will click there. Como te llamas? Como te llamas? And then they can respond with the answer. So that's how you can insert video and audio into your test questions. Uh, this might be, like I say, very helpful if you're, especially in foreign languages, because then you can give them audio prompts that they have to respond to. Uh, students can also, you can also allow them to give audio responses if you want, or you can set it up as I did.